It was just a lot of fun over the years. I, you know, I was so excited by color printing for a long period of time. Yeah, you were. And today it would be, you know, so entirely different with the different materials. But when I started, to make a color print was really an accomplishment. I mean, the whole process of making separations and, and you either did it with three different filters or you got a, a one-shot color camera of which there weren't there were just a few made actually and they were very expensive uh, I just remember basically the first day of picking her up and yeah. starting to come out to the valley yeah. and we stopped at the beach on the way and uh, took some pictures until the guys were gathering around so much we, we were kind of overwhelmed yeah. and so we got in the car and drove on out to the valley and that's when I took the pictures of her on the fence yeah. in the uh, Cowgirl outfit. And all the ones in the pool that you shot of her? They well, were... She was a very charming, delightful, lovely young lady. And nice to be with. She wasn't smart. Yeah. You know, she wasn't a brilliant intellect to be with, but she was nice, pleasant, and cute. And ambitious, you said. And she was a good pose. She posed well. Yeah. You could yeah. tell that. She yeah. really, she's comfortable posing. Yeah. She was very good, you know. You got the camera on her, and she did. She did. She was creative about her, her modeling. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell her to do some of these things. The way, you know, I couldn't tell her how to, to do them. She did them well. Mm -hmm. She knew how to handle her body. I remember being in the dark room, and I remember the uplight. Yeah. And. The one, the times when there was only just a very pale red light, yeah. And we were, and I was not allowed to speak at all or distract him, as long as I was very very quiet. I could sit. Now when and you when were he, when very he quiet, completely quiet, dark. You never disturbed me. You were always good company. I was, just, real, I was really I was very obedient. Did you he make you beep in the dark? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, uh, so I would you say were? you were be. I would say you were. Cooperative. I was cooperative. I was. I, yeah. I really liked, it was quite a magical thing sitting in there. Oh, yeah. And I don't, I don't remember the magic of the process, which I only sort of learned about later, but was just sitting there in the smells of the dark room. Oh, There's, you're another turpentine lover. It's this, it's this yeah. smell. They're, they're, the chemistry is so, yeah, it has such a definite chemicals. odor. Yeah. And every time I walk in here, it reminds me of that. Well, I think the odor has gone from here now. Hasn't it's still it? here a little bit, not as Isn't much, it? but the, yeah, it's still it's so long. Dick said he loves the smell of turpentine in the morning. It makes him feel like cardboard <laughs> right, printing. That's yeah. right. Turpentine in the morning. Oh boy. Wow. Well, I just uh, that's that's my it's, memory uh, of sitting on the stool. When you, this was everybody's favorite. <laughs> we loved this. <laughs> Perfect print. Isn't that you know? Um, I was trying to be artistic. You were, weren't you? You know, I'd, I'd done a lot of pictures for, for covers and uh, for calendars and things like that. But this was one I wanted to get something artistic. Anyway, the print came out pretty darn well. And uh, I was very happy with what I got. But it was, it was the kind of picture I couldn't sell. I, I did it. Yeah. You know, really? I, was shooting, I was shooting pictures that I thought would sell for magazines yeah. or calendars. This one I simply did to, to please myself. Um, this photograph is of Betty McWilliams, a, a woman he met in a bank. <laughs> and he's taken a couple of pictures of her. She, she has this incredible coloring, and I think it really does show the Carbro d delicacy of, of um, skin tone, but also the whites and the blacks. This, this print in particular shows all of that in between, not to mention the reds on our lips. Mm -hmm.